Good morning, guys. I'm not going to be before y'all long. I'm about to help my son with his homework. I'm letting him play for a little bit. He just finished breakfast. But I have a very serious word for someone. This is just burning on my spirit. I was like, God, can I just do it tomorrow with Bible study? But he's having me to release this um, for someone today. Like, you have to, and I pray you take heed to it, whoever it's for, you know, whatever part is for you. But, you know, first word, give people their flowers now. Don't wait until people pass away to have said, and you know, how many times have we done that? You know, uh, whether we saw it coming or not, but you give people their flowers when it's too late. God is saying for some of you on here, you got to give people their flowers now. Give people their time now. Get them their honor and accolades and, and, and love now. Get them their flowers now. Don't let it be a regret, a regretful um, situation where, don't let it be a regretful situation where, you wait until it's too late. You need to forgive now. You need to make amends now. You need to love people now. You need to check on people now. You need to connect with people now. It doesn't have to be a buddy-buddy, day-to-day thing, but who can you show love to? Who is somebody in your heart that, even for some of you, it could just be in your heart. It could be in your heart um, making peace with that person, giving that person to God. Uh, even if you write a letter to them or call them or say, hey, can we talk? Or if it's a situation where uh, it's just too different and that person's not going to be receptive, you can at least go to God for them so that at least you're clear, at least you're clear. And there's even some of you, you need to make peace with those that have passed that have passed on. But that's a word for somebody I heard. Give people their flowers now. Uh, if this word is for you, God is going to already, even as I'm doing this video, God is already going to be showing you faces and people and dropping names and showing you different things in your spirit of what you need to make peace with and give people their flowers. Now give people their flowers. Now, another word that I heard for someone guys is that you need to be living out your purpose. Now God has had us doing those type of videos as well over the years, but I'm hearing this so very strongly today. It is so it is so serious, guys. Whatever you have to do in your life, in this life of purpose, you need to be doing it now. Today is the right now day because you're going to be held accountable for what you do for God and what you don't do for God. You're going to be held accountable for if you use your gift and talents. You guys remember that dream that um, God let me share on here with you guys with the, with the funeral and the piano and the girl. You never know if, if you missed that video in this video for you, I encourage you check that out because I feel like that's going to spark something in you. But just anyway, let the Holy Ghost spark in you that if this is for you, get get about what God's given you to do. There are some of you, you living in certain lanes that God, you know, God have more for you than that lane. You know, he got another side of the world for you. You know, he got other things for you to do, but you just been in that lane for so long. And you feel it in your heart, like your spirit is stirred, like you know there are certain things that God needs you to be doing and you have not been doing them and you've been taking, you've been keeping excuses up and you haven't taken the step. We have some videos on here talk about take the step, God is with you, it's your time, different practical spiritual examples. But I just really felt very strongly on my heart to release this this morning. Get about God's business today while you still have today, guys. Tomorrow is not promised. And when we go stand before Almighty God, we're going to have to give an account for our lives, guys. We're going to have to give an account. We're going to have to give an account. Everything is going to be before Almighty God. We're not going to be able to say, well, this or that, because he already know. So if it's something that God told you to do, you need to start that ministry. You need to write that book. You need to be a blessing to whoever he told you to be a blessing to. You need to take care of your family. Some of you, you need to pull away from certain people. Some of you need to get about God's business. And there are so many of you on here. You have a testimony that is going to bless so many people and unlock so many things in people. And you've been allowing the spirit of fear to keep you bound. And God said, you need to share your testimony. There are some of you on here. You got devotionals and blogs in you. You got ministry in you. God been giving you uh, the plans for your women's ministry and your man's ministry and ministry. How he given it to you and writing it down in that book and you won't even write it down in the book you got to get about what father god is asking you to do while you still have today the scripture that's covered to me for you is jesus said he's standing at the door and knock today if you hear his voice do not harden your heart do not harden your heart today 
Don't let life pass you by. You know how many people woke up, didn't, they didn't wake up this morning that thought they still had today that they probably said yesterday. Well, I'll do it tomorrow. God, I'll go see my family tomorrow. God, I'll make that call tomorrow. God, I'll surrender my life tomorrow. God, I'll start working on it tomorrow. God. And that was the, that when they last breath was last night or, or early this morning, they did not wake up to see today. They did not wake up to see today. I can't tell y'all how many family and friends and people that I know personally that thought they still had time left and they never made it to see the next day. And for me to hear that, oh, they funerals here. I had to go attend a funeral. This or that is heartbreaking. And a lot of them were good people, but I know they could have kept living more of their purpose. And I know certain things that uh, they, they had for their dreams and goals and they never got a chance to go after it because they didn't get today. Today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Today is your day for your new beginning. Today is the day for you to do what God has called you to do. Today is the day for you to love yourself. Today is the day for you to rise up and get up and start again. Today is the day. Today is the day. Oh my God. Jesus, today is the day. Whatever that means for you, for your today, today is the day. Don't worry about tomorrow. Jesus said, don't worry about tomorrow. Sufficient is, is, is the day's trouble for today. You got to focus on today. If that's for you, I want you to read Matthew chapter 6, especially verses like 25 through 33. So peace and blessings. I love you guys. And God has you and he is with you. And even because you listen to this video and other videos and confirmations that God has been dropping in your spirit. Now you have to really do something with it because you have no excuse no more. I love you guys. God bless.